Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Hey, yeah. welcome to Guggen HQ. Starting out the day right here. Actually, my day started off really early. I was on the water doing uh, doing some filming this morning. Doing a lot of stuff this week. This is a this is a big week for fishing. Big week for Guggen HQ. Big week for Guggen Squad. Big week for Guggen Baits. It's just glowing green around here, y'all. We have a lot of new products launching during the course of the summer and a couple of things that are launching this week are the lunker logs uh, which if you if you watch my live stream i kind of talked about that a little bit but the lunker log and the rattling nets you want to see them i'll come in here and I'll, I'll show you guys what's going on with these here they are y'all check them check them out look at aren't they delicious looking tags no we're we're actually getting the store prepped and ready for all the new products that are coming in um, this entire wall while I was gone in the Caymans has been slate walled, slat walled, however you want to say it. Um, so a whole new area of store, store space has been created for our plastic. So uh, if you come up here right now, when you're watching this video, this whole wall will be filled because we actually have bandito bugs coming in as well. Limited quantity, limited quantity. Uh, that's been our most popular bait so far. So those are coming, but just know, that wall is being prepped and then I also have the actual baits. Don't worry, I barely have any myself because we've been just trying to get them into production and now they're finally here. So maybe I could take a couple, but here they are. Wabam! One of the best colors of all time. Green pump right here. We got it. We got all your classic colors and we got some, you know, a little bit more interesting colors. You know, we even have pearl. Uh, green pumpkin blue this has been my favorite i was actually using this color a lot when i was up at uh, broken bow lake that was catching them really good we also have some clearer water colors like uh, cinnamon and this is a this is a seven inch or i'm sorry six inch we have a six inch and a five inch so wabam those two right there baby bass i don't even have any baby bass look at that deliciousness I'm not a big Ned Rig person. Being in Texas, I don't fish them a whole lot, but they are really nasty on smallmouth. They're really nasty in clear water. Uh, anytime you have finicky fish. So we have the rattling Ned, which is basically just a, uh, you know, a short stick style bait, but ours, listen, oh yeah, it's rattling. And we've got some really delightful colors in these like this is a really clear water color right here that smelt dirty rice excellent color right there a little gold pearl belly a little root beer back uh, that's a drag drop uh, new money look at the new money color right here yeah money so we are the first to go to market with a rattling ned plastic really exciting so that is launching this week as well so all y'all netters out there shopcrawls.com already has them i will link them down below and they also have the accessories to go along with it like the stickies wacky and drop shot hooks these are really good wide gap finesse hooks so you can wacky rig uh, the logs and then they have these deadbolt mushroom head jigs so this would be on the Ned. This is what you would use on the Ned rig. Uh, one ot two pack, they come in. I mean, y'all, that, that's kind of, I have these in my tackle box somewhere, but I don't break them out very much. Probably not as much as I should, because I'm just not a big finesse fisherman. And right now I'm getting some gear prepped and ready to go out and fish some of these baits. We've, I've kind of showed them on my channel. I've talked about it. Everybody's really used them and talked about them, but we, we haven't like, done a full reveal of you know how we're fishing them colors uh you know everything like that so, so now that they're coming out we're gonna go film a video on that and that's gonna be on google squad channel so that'll be me and john we're getting ready so i'm gonna get get some line get some things prepped and then i need to get my own little tackle tackle cave popping so the last time i left i had i had my wood shop kind of set up starting to get some things set up now it's time to set up my tackle board in there lfg wood shop and dangle supply wait lfg woodworks 
and dangle supply. I like that a lot better. Oh yeah, that's in the works right now. So I got to get back to the crib and get that popping. Let's go. Woodworks at about to be dangle supply over here. Here's what's going on. This board over here, that's eight foot. I've got another seven foot on this side to work with. I'm just gonna back them right up against each other. Uh, each other. This is going to be basically all fishing stuff. And then down below, I'm building another table and it's gonna be storage. I just kind of came up with this design. It seems to work. Uh, you do have to have some heavy duty wall, uh, well, they're really just like large cabinet screws, and I'll show you guys what I'm using to really attach those on. But that's just really cheap, um, ply, uh, not plywood, but uh, corrugated, uh, what do you call it, pegboard from Home Depot that I got. It's the cheaper stuff. I know they have a couple different versions. That, that's the cheaper stuff. And then those are some cheap old pine one by threes that are behind and they're, they're stuck together. I basically built the frame of the board because you need a little bit of space behind there to put the hangers. And I got like some of the cheapest hangers that you can get off Amazon for the pegboard. They go in there good. It's already working good on the wood side. We just need to move over here and get it on the dangle side. So we'll cut those one by threes to seven foot. Then I'll cut them at 45 degree angles so they come together nice and square. And we'll put some wood glue on there some finishing nails, and then we'll attach it to the wall. How am I attaching these corners after I've cut them on a 45 on my chop saw? I'm using what's called a Craig jig. It's the most simple, easiest, effective way to attach uh, same size boards to each other and it's really easy on corners. Um, so I'm using that and I'm using an inch and a quarter screw on there. Again, this is three quarter inch thick wood and it literally tells you right on the on the jig what to use and then I'm just taking a, a finishing nail going on one other side just to kind of finish off the connection so it's got like a firm solid connection in the corner and instead of doing two of those Craig screws because this is not very thick material just put a finishing nail in there so it doesn't shift and that's it So now that we have our two frames made, wah bam, uh, that one looks better and it's straighter wood. So that's gonna be the top. I'm gonna take the pegboard, I'm gonna lay it on top of the one that's already on the ground inside of the garage. And then I'm gonna lay this one on top, get it all straight, put wood glue in there, bam, 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 with the nail gun. And then that's gonna compress that seal together, let it dry about an hour, maybe more, and then it is going up on the wall with some special big cabinet screws that I've got. Ooh, what's daddy up to? Look who's come to greet me. Yeah, been taking a very long nap. It's five o'clock. Looks like a big old picture frame. Yeah, exactly. It's exactly what I'm doing. So you caught me right in the middle of, I'm about to break out the track saw and cut that pegboard up get it just so with the big picture frame over here, as you would call it. You mean then, you're not gonna put like a massive family photo in there and just psh. What would be our family photo that you would put in something so massive? What would it be? 
It'd have to be like if you had a family of 50 people in there. My favorite moment would be you getting bit by the stingray. That would be, that would go in there. Really? You'd oh, put yeah. that, you'd plaster that on the wall? Oh yeah, it's it terror and fun all at the same time. All right, well we're about to start on some dinner. Okay, well I'm gonna start on some awesomeness. Ready? <laughs> Break, oh, I'm sorry, I left you hanging there. <laughs> I left you hanging. wondering about that saw that I just used that go on the ground and use a track it's called a track saw and I like to call it the poor man's table saw you know you got to work on the ground with it it's it's still pretty pricey but it's not as expensive as a table saw and you can get a lot done with it so anytime you need to make long straight cuts or long angled cuts you can get it done with that track saw glue and nails Okay, all it is time to put up our framed pegboard. Yes, Emmy. We got uh, our little one audience uh, is watching here. She's very close to walking, y'all. Very, very close. Stay tuned on the Lake Life Family Channel. Link down below. I need to call in Big Guns OSG for this one. So, babe, I think I'd actually need you to, if you can, hold up like both sides like this. But you're going to be able to put your feet underneath you and deuce. The 14 year old middle school arms. That's right. That's right. Gauge. But I think, you know, right here, you just ah! flex that back. Ah! <laughs> Pop those lats. Bah! Bah! <laughs> Pop it out right there. Nothing but a q tip. Okay? Oh, I'll do my bah. best. Did you hear her? She goes, bop. 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 You get a bop? <laughs> yeah, something like that. We gotta make sure we get it even with this other. Let's keep going back so we can get it around the flatter. That's right, I mean, bop, bop. Just a smash. That's it right there. Okay. That's it right there. I need you to hold. Okay. Like the world is on your shoulders. Oh. No! <laughs> Ready? Yep. Here we go. I got it. Here we go. Just go. That should really help you out right there. Do a little bit more pre drill. Like a little sawdust. Oh, yeah. Strong as Knox. Here we go. Here we go. Is it the garage that's not level? It's gonna have to do. Well, it's up there. Uh, it's a tap it off. Is it tap it off? It's like a hair. It's not exactly straight and awesome. Not my fault. Neither is our house. So the problem is the ceiling is lowered over there, so I can't really push it up anymore. And I don't want it all the way up to the ceiling. And it's good over there on that side, so I think we're going to leave it as is. I feel my arms were engaged. You were engaged. I got my workout, my pump session for today. It's not bad. It's going to stay where it is, especially using these screws, y'all. These are serious. I know some of y'all probably want to know what these are. These are there's a quarter inch uh, diameter, four inch screws, and some people call these cabinet screws. I think they're also called power head screws. Okay, if we focus in here, you can basically see that that is flat. And what that does is it really puts all the way, it's like a 90 degree angle. When you're, when you're hanging cabinetry or anything really heavy, you wanna use a, a screw like this. So anyway, I'm gonna screw in more of those into the studs, and then this thing is gonna be up and ready for pegs. 
the dangle supply. <laughs> I know, it's sad. This is literally all the packaged Guga baits I have right now. And all the crankbaits I had are currently being used in a lot of different product shoots and they got divided and everything between all of us and we lost a bunch on rocks and people's fishing line, trees, whatnot. So the dangle board is a little lackluster right now. Don't worry, it's just in the beginning phases and I just got it up. Anywho, I want to thank you guys for tuning in today. I've got a lot more work to do in the cave here. I'm finished with the boards, table's going here, uh, and I've got a whole other barnwood, barnwood bar going in over there on that side, and then lighting, because this lighting sucks. And I think to finish it off, we're going to get one of you amazing fishing freaks out there that does great work with either uh, wood or metal signs to do LFG Woodworks and Dangle Supply across the top there. I think that'll look really cool. Also, big news on merch stuff, y'all. Uh, if any of you are have been looking for the merch or wondering where my merch site has gone, it's all moving to GuggenSquad.com currently, and we're working on a lot of new designs uh, for everybody. So central location where y'all can shop all of our merch uh, for everybody in the Guggen Squad, including myself and we're just gonna be pumping out a lot more designs. Got a lot more fishing coming up this week, so subscribe so you don't miss a single hook set and sniff. And I will see y'all right back here on the next day.